Whether you work with sedentary clients, competitive athletes, or a wide variety of fitness levels, you can use the ACE Integrated Fitness Training Model to help each client reach his or her unique goals for health, fitness, or performance. The ACE IFT model has four cardiorespiratory training phases. Each phase has a primary training focus designed to facilitate specific physiological adaptations to exercise as indicated by the phase names. Programming in each phase is based on a three-zone training model designed around the first and second ventilatory thresholds called VT1 and VT2. Zone 1 involves moderate exercise performed below VT1. Zone 2 involves exercise from VT1 to just below VT2. And Zone 3 involves exercise from VT2 all the way up to maximal efforts. Each cardiorespiratory training phase has guidelines for exercise programming in one or more of these zones. Marion is going to exercise in each of the three zones to help you identify the respiratory changes that occur at VT1 and VT2. Heart rates at VT1 and VT2 can differ between cycling and running, so you should assess cyclists using a bike and clients training for events that include running using a treadmill. Marion has been cycling at a steady pace for a few minutes now. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Can you recite the alphabet for us? Sure. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, good. H. Good. That's good. Marion is exercising based on the talk test in zone one, which is below VT1. Exercise can be sustained at this level for a long time. Let's increase the intensity now to find the point where talking first becomes uncomfortable. How are you feeling now? Okay. Can you recite the alphabet for us? Sure. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Good. How was reciting the alphabet? Did it feel comfortable, a little bit uncomfortable, or not at all comfortable? A little bit uncomfortable. Marion has just reached the first ventilatory threshold. At this point, it's important to record heart rate as the heart rate at VT1. As exercise progresses above VT1, speech will become more uncomfortable as intensities approach VT2. Marion is beginning to look uncomfortable and may be approaching VT2. How are you feeling now? Okay, tough, hard to talk. Marion appears to have reached VT2. To truly assess Marion's heart rate at VT2, we should have her perform the VT2 threshold test. For the purposes of this video, we can use her heart rate right now as an estimate of VT2. Exercise just below VT2 represents the highest intensities an individual can sustain for 20 to 30 minutes. Through training, an individual can increase their workload at VT2, therefore improving performance. Notice how Marion's respirations have increased significantly as she's pushed above VT2. Marion, can you keep this up for a minute? No. 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay. Marion is pushed into zone three and is exercising above the second ventilatory threshold. Efforts in zone three can only be sustained for a couple of minutes, even by elite athletes. Marion has successfully exercised in all three cardiorespiratory training zones of the ACE IFT model. In zone one, talking was comfortable. Progressing into zone two, talking became somewhat challenging. And in zone three, exercise could only be sustained for a short time. Being able to recognize the ventilatory response to exercise is important for identifying VT1 and VT2 and using the three zones in the ACE IFT model. Using these tools, you can design exercise programs to help take clients from being sedentary all the way through to training for endurance events. While most of your clients won't make this jump, it's empowering for personal trainers to have the tools to be able to provide these long-term training solutions.